I just finished that my last row and now I'm gonna bind off so you can use the video from our beginning knit class for binding off or you can try this new bind off that I'll show here so for this new bind off um, it's gonna be the stretchy bind off so what we're gonna do is we're gonna knit the first two stitches together so how you do that is you just go as if you're going to knit but you grab two stitches instead of just one so instead of just grabbing the first stitch to knit you grab the second one as well and then you knit them together like so then you'll take this that you just knit put it back on your what's that right left <laughs> your left needle and then you'll knit the next stitch together with the stitch you just passed back so knit those together pass it back knit it together with the next one pass it back knit it together with the next one pass it back let me do knit it together with the next one pass it, pass it back the next one and do this all the way to the end until you only have one loop all right so I have this last hoop or last loop not a hoop I'm gonna cut my yarn and then I'm gonna take my needle out stick my fingers through and just pull the tail through this last loop voila and now we will weave in some ends so um if you want just quick in general check out our beginning knit class where we do it on a dishcloth um to learn how to just weave in the ends on the cast on and cast off but i'm specifically going to show you how to weave ends for the color change so i have my darning needle I'm gonna thread it with one of the threads so this is blue so I'm gonna weave in on the blue basically you just go in a bunch of different directions um, you want a good rule of thumb is to go in three different directions but to try and make it not seen I like to go travel up these knit stitches so I'm on the outside come up through through, come up, through, and then switch over to the other side, look down, and go in to out. So in to out, in to out. And then once I've done it and I feel like it's secure, I'll just take my scissors and snip. There you go. That end is woven in. And so now I get to do it for all these fun ends. Yay! <laughs> Thank you so much for taking this class, viewing this class. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that you were able to get a finished object from it. Um, the scarf that I made, it's fairly short. This is going to be a child scarf, or it could just be like a short neck scarf. We'll see. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed this class and get out there and craft your world. <laughs>